Well, one of the ways to become successful in this business is to get a commercial account that goes on and on and on. People get to know you probably more than even being on a television series. And the gentleman we have with us right now, Patrick Campbell is with us. He's an actor, but right now he's known as the actor in those Ames real estate loan commercials. Nice right. to have you here, Patrick. Thank you, Jack. Nice, nice to meet to be you. Here. We saw one of your commercials at the beginning of the program. Yes, and I uh, hurt when I see that commercial. Uh, why is that? Well, I'll tell you, I had For the to people who missed it, that was the okay. one you were going underwater. Yes, going under the water. I had mm -hmm. to uh, fall from a plank down into the ocean mm -hmm. and then sink down to the bottom of the ocean floor mm -hmm. and dial the phone to get mm -hmm. Ames Home Loan to come to the rescue. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't even go to the beach. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. that's kind of rough. Yeah. Uh, I'm not used to that sort w of thing. Will you do anything for money, Patrick? Anything, yes, anything. Uh, except right, take off my clothes. Yeah. I mean, they couldn't pay you to do that, is that right? No, no. Could we, could no. we pay you to keep them on? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I can put these away now. I was looking at the young lady's uh, resume. That's right. It takes a while to do it. Yeah. Uh, now, we have a bunch of the commercial. Let's take a look at them for those okay, people fine. who may have missed the commercial. This is Patrick Campbell starring in these Ames real estate loan commercials. Take a look. We'll see what you mean. If you owe a little money around they're coming after you from all sides. Get out the yellow pages. If you've got problems and you feel like you're all alone out there, got problems and everything seems to be going downhill. <laughs> if you've got problems and they're bigger than you can handle. <laughs> if you've got problems and you feel like you're all alone out there. Get out the yellow pages. If you've got problems and there's no place to turn, get out the yellow pages. If you've got problems, and you're getting in deeper all the time. <laughs> a man and his chicken are soon parted. Oh, in yes. your case. Well, There's quite a story about that chicken, too. Was this a, uh, an, uh, from SAG chicken or what? <laughs> no, it was animal actors, actually. Really? A lot of people ask me, is it always a still, you know, the same chicken each uh -huh. time? I, I was going to ask you that, but you saved you? me the trouble. Oh, okay. Sure. Well, I don't know. Ah. How would I? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you just ask it, right? Okay. <laughs> well, anyhow, the chicken yeah. came on as an accident. It wasn't originally planned. The very first one we saw was uh, in the log cabin with the arrows shooting through there. Right. The director took a look at the set and said, um, needs a little more atmosphere. And there was a stupid chicken running around out in the ranch there, and they mm -hmm. threw him up in the thing, and <laughs> that was it. Yeah, so it most chickens aren't that brilliant anyway. No, and neither am yeah. I, but uh, yeah. that's why we get along so well. But the two of you seem very happy together. Yes. Now, I how many of these commercials have you done, Pat? I guess there have been some 21 or 22 of them over a period yeah. of eight years. Yeah. Now, you were out there in the raft, uh, any places. Are these actual dangerous stunts you ever do? Or yes, what? they are, because uh -huh. the one that I told you about in the plank, it was kind of dangerous sure. because I, yeah. you know, falling into the ocean. Yeah. But the one in uh, the raft with the uh, sharks going around, uh -huh. well, that was done about 10 miles off San Pedro at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I froze to death. I mean, it was no fun. Uh -huh. They're tough to do. Yeah. Do, do the chickens ever complain or what? I mean, no, never. Never because they get more money than I do. I see. Chicken feed, in other words. I they complain. Get <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. no, chicken feed. All right. Yeah. No, so you're doing the commercials. Are you doing other acting now at the same time? Yes. I, uh, uh, I guess I've done some 30 or 40 motion pictures and yeah. uh, just about every TV show at one time or another. Yeah. Can I take a guess? I'll bet you're the first person in your family to be an actor. Am I right? Right. 
Why did you say that? I don't know why. I just felt that, uh, that some, you woke up one day and said, I'm going to be an actor. And they all looked at you and go, what are you talking about? <laughs> or something. I mean, I don't know why I feel that way. That's that, what I'm that's, saying now. Yeah, yeah. Why did I do this? You could have been a dentist. Yeah, I could have been. But yeah. uh, show business was uh, not necessarily always in me. When I... Uh, well, you're not a flashy type person. No, you know? not, really, mean, not really. Not really. I was in World War II. And when mm -hmm. I got out, the uh, doctor said I had some sort of a mild shell shock condition and suggested that I go to a drama school. And that's how it all started. And that's how you got over being shell-shocked, or how it became worse? No, I'm still shell-shocked, but I'm an actor. <laughs> that's right. You, are you serious? Really, you were shell-shocked yes, in, so in the acting? It was supposed were, to be therapy. Did it uh, give you more confidence in yourself? Was yes, that the idea? right. Uh -huh. I had done uh -huh. acting in college and in high school, but uh -huh. uh, I had never considered it as a profession. Uh -huh. But well, this did help. Yeah, and do you work steadily? I mean, aside yes. from this, I saw your list of credits. You've been in dozens and dozens of television shows and movies right. and so forth. What's your favorite movie you've been in? <clears throat> well, the one that paid the most. I uh, figures, yeah. <laughs> but really, yeah. the guys that I like to yeah. work with, I've done two uh, movies for Carl Reiner and two for Mel Brooks. Yeah. And they are wonderful people, and I love every minute when I'm with them. Uh, and they're both really, truly, wonderfully insane people. Yes, too. they and are, great. but awfully talented. Yeah. Are we going to see you do more of these commercials? I really don't know. My contract expired in April. Mm -hmm. Is the chicken still alive? Uh, the chicken is still alive, and yeah. it has a contract, yeah. but I don't. Keep that chicken walking. Without that chicken, you know, times, things, sometimes okay, things I change. Okay, I will. I will. Yeah, Patrick Campbell, thank you very much for being well, here. Thank we you for having it. me, Jack. And those are terrific. Those are the first time, yeah, it's the first time I've seen those commercials. Yes, And right. I enjoy them very much. Thank Come you very much for having again. me. Okay. Meredith, are you over there with a the chicken or without? <laughs> No chicken at the moment, Jack, but uh, when we come back, we're going to be talking about teenagers and drugs. <laughs>